YouTube, Azaz Mac finally back again for another video tutorial. I had a really good question from Nridalisandro asking, is it possible to have a folder on your Mac that automatically syncs with iCloud without using Safari, like a Dropbox folder? And there is a way, which I've used a little bit, and it has to do with the mobile documents. And now, with this, the only way I know of doing it is you can only sync pages, numbers, and keynotes. Um, I'll show you how to do it in a second, but if I go in here, it, it shows me the documents I have synced in iCloud. So the way you're going to do this, to get this folder that's like a Dropbox that you can drop your pages, numbers, or keynotes files into, is go into library. Now if you have Lion, you probably know that you can't access library, but I'll show you how to do it. You're going to go into Macintosh HD or Finder, whatever you want to call it. Now for some reason it's actually showing me library right now, but generally it's not going to. What you're going to have to do is go into, you don't actually have to do that, but you're going to go into go, you're going to go go to folder, and you're going to type this in. It might not be typed in for you, or it might. If you can't find this squiggly arrow, it's above the tab key and below the escape key. So you're going to type that in, and you're going to press go, and it'll bring you directly to the folder. So here it is, it says library. Now scroll down until you find one that says mobile documents. Okay, here it is. And it's going to say keynotes, numbers, pages, and then it's the com, apple, com, apple, com, apple, numbers, pages, and keynotes. And so what I did was, as you saw, I put it down here in my bar so that I could easily drag and drop stuff in there. But I mean, if you wanted to go here every time, that would work as well. So, um, right now I can't actually show you it working, but you can probably tell when you drag and drop something in there, it's going to sync with iCloud. It's your mobile documents folder. I've been looking for other ways to sync other files, like your contacts and stuff like that, but I mean, it already does that by itself, so until I find something, um, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you, and I hope that's what you wanted. It's pretty easy to do, as you just saw, and it works. Sometimes I do get a little lag when I'll drag and drop something into that folder, it might take a while to get onto your phone, it's a longer, or your iPad or iPod Touch, it's a longer sync time, but it does work. Um, and when I say longer, I don't mean like a day, I mean in supposed to directly within a few seconds, it might be like 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes tops. So um, go ahead and try it out. It's, it's just another way of doing things. It's a little bit more ghetto, I think, but it, it does the job. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, give me some more ideas for videos. I haven't been around much lately. I got an iPhone. I think I might do my top 10 City apps tweaks and um, hacks for the iPhone. So uh, until next time, guys, once again, comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later.